Okay, today we are going to perform a little bit of an autopsy, you tear apart, on this Soshi, Skoshi, Shoshi, however you say it, um, 12 volt um, iPod adapter for a car. And this is a small FM transmitter, it can transmit on, um, what is it, 88.1. 88.3, 88.5, or 88.7 on the FM band. Um, presumably stereo, from what I remember when I had it working and using it. Um, but this I grabbed out of my old Sundance. It had been sitting in there for years on the floor, and it's gotten kind of rusty. And So, from what I remember, it had stopped working. Um, but I can't remember for sure, but we're going to be using the connector, the iPod connector on here. Um, so, our first endeavor on um, cannibalizing this thing, not cannibalizing, but autopsying, and cannibalizing at the same time, we're just going to snip the cord off of it, make things a little bit easier. So, we'll probably need about that much. Alright, so now we don't need this for this video. This will come later. Alright, so here we go. Pretty simple. Uh, it plugs into your cigarette lighter. Um, it's got a little fuse in here. Pop that out. That's a... 3 amp fuse and the fuse is still good so we'll save that and now let's see if we can get the front of it here looks like it unscrews and that's really nothing except a um, spring in there for the little end button on here. Normally you would have your fuse inside there on most um, accessories that use a cigarette lighter, but they decided to put a fuse on the side here instead. So let's see if we can get this little ring off the front. Alright, that's fairly simple. And it looks like this we should be able to just pop this apart like that. Alright, and it's fairly simple design um, and it smells like burnt electronics but we've got a few capacitors, a um, little switch right here and there's a little, little tiny coil right here so, um, we have our input for our negative right here on the side barrel. The positive is fused. Let's see, is that glued in there? Oh no, there's a little screw holding the circuit board in. That's kind of shocking for something made in China. little peg here. Get the peg out of there. There we go. Oh, and I can see where we can smell our burning. It's a little bit toasty in there. I'm not sure if that 
Yeah, it did look like that occurred during um, use. Um, so anyway, here's our positive input, negative input. Probably a smoothing, smoothing capacitors here to um, equalize voltage. There's a crystal right here. A little, little metal can crystal, and our coil here, which is probably the antenna. Um, and here's our business side of the board, processor chip, and um, here's the part that burned. I'm not exactly sure what that is, if that's a little capacitor or a few little micro fuse or what that is, but um, oh, and our one lead just came off that was on there. So let's take a look. We've got red and we've got black. That's our power leads. And then we've got um, orange and green, or red and left, or red and left, right and left in, and the white is our ground connector for the iPod for the audio. Um, oddly enough, that ground connector, the audio ground connector, is the one that melted off. Um, so. I mean, that's not going to concern us any because this little part is kind of junk because we just needed the cable. But I figured we could take this apart and see what's inside it. Um, not much to look at since everything, the transmitter and everything is probably on this IC chip here. Um, see a little diode there. Uh, and then another part that's a little bit burnt, probably another diode. Oh, this piece completely f fell off. Whatever it is. Um, so we'll just we'll save the little LED that's on here. And the rest of this is junk. So there we have it. Um, Soshi, Skoshi, whatever, little iPod FM transmitter. And there we have it. Thanks for watching.